Hi. Yeah, I'm ringing about the van, the big blue van. You towed us yesterday outside Carlisle. Yeah, well, I was wondering when it would be fixed and how much it would cost. Right. Do you have another van? This woman from the Scottish Arts Council was supposed to be here. I mean, she's meant to introduce us to these people. We might as well just go in. Oh, it's so beautiful. Do you think so? Mm. That's where Paul McCartney lives. Really? Just wait, just all of you, just wait here, and I'll go in and see if they were expecting us, OK? Jen, you don't have to be afraid of people just because they're Scottish. I'm not afraid, Ben. There's some very anti-English feeling around. People have been murdered for being English. Jen. I'm not joking, Ben. This is a very volatile time politically for these people, and they take it out on, you know, English people when they come across them. Do you want me to come in with you, Jen? No, thank you very much, PJ. Um, Jen, could I have a word about the van? Not now, Keith. Hi. Hi, I'm Jen from Leisure Theatre Group. We're meant to be rehearsing here. I think the Scottish Arts Council arranged it. I need to know which space we're in. I don't know nothing about it, and nobody told me about you. Uh, well, could I speak with someone else? I mean, who's in charge? You look for somebody in. Hi. Um, hi. Um, can I speak to the manager? Oh, Donny, he's not in till 6 o'clock tonight. No, oh, that's a Tuesday and Thursday. Isn't it 9 on a Monday? No, Alan, he's here at 6 o'clock in the dock, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, for God's sake, can I just have the bloody keys? I mean, my actors are waiting outside. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to shout. Please don't be angry with me. I, it's, I'm just... Oh, God. Jen, can I start by sharing my research into Celtic mythology, you know, just to get us all going? Brilliant idea, Claude. Well... Excuse me, Claude. Should we do the beat in first? Good idea, Ben. Yeah. Everyone, when someone's presenting something to the rest of the group, in order to give that person a sense of taking focus, we do what's called the beat in. Everyone in the audience, that's us, does this. And on the third clap, the lights are on, the curtains open, and that person is on. Do you see? Oh, that's really, really good. Sorry, Jen, where are the curtains? Metaphorical curtains, Keith. We recreate the idea of theatre wherever we are in order to make it, you know, special. I want it to be special what Claude has to share with us. I want everyone to focus on Claude. And everyone, the beat in. OK, now what I want to say about Celtic mythology is it's exactly the same as Scandinavian mythology and that mythologies in general are really quite similar. Joseph Campbell did some fantastic writing about this, which is really good because it means you don't have to read the original material, which would probably have been oral anyway. Jen, Kim, focus. The oral tradition is so important. You know, not everybody could grow papyrus in northern climates. Now, there's one story, blood and oatmeal, which I thought would be really good for us. Actually, maybe I should start by reading some of The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot first. Jen, please, Jen. What is it, Kim? There's two boys out there. One of them just took out his dingle and was naughty on the wind. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's not on. Go on, go, go. That is an enormous amount of ejaculate for one teenager. Did he come more than once? Kim? Oh, for God's sake, now she's gone and made us the village targets. Kim, do you want a cup of tea? Um, Jen, do you think it'd be a good time to talk about the van? And I'm so sorry I wasn't here for your start this morning. Scottish Valley had a funding review and my personal assistant made a complete mess of my diary and she thought you were coming tomorrow. It was fine, we just got started. Graeme's told me so much about Le Jeu. We're absolutely thrilled to have you here in Scotland. Wow, well, cheers, my dear. Here's to the Scottish Arts Council and Arts Councils everywhere. Bless them. Cheers. 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 So, Fiona, how long have you been at the Scottish Arts Council? Oh, this is my first year. Right, what did you do before that? I was a student. Is that college, university? Jen, you're going to give her an exam. <laughs> I was just Fiona looks so young, I was just curious. I was a dance student, actually. Ah. 
but was always very interested in organising. And the director was a personal friend of my father's. Well, actually, I grew up right next door to them, so everyone knew how good I was at organising. <laughs> yeah, but your PA makes a mess of your diary. And I've always loved theatre and dance. Have you? Oh, yes. Who's Peter Brook? Who? Peter Brook, who is he? Oh, is he with Dog Angels? I haven't met the whole company yet. Stupid tart. Where's Kim? She said she wasn't feeling very well. She's got digestive problems. Actually, I think it was those boys this morning. Oh, Jesus, she thinks she'd never seen a male member before. No, she's kind of oversensitive. What are you having? Having the salmon. Oh, I'm having the venison. That's dear, isn't it? Um, are you Paisley Johnston? Yeah. I just wanted to see how much I enjoy your CDs. I think we've got the whole collection at home. Oh, that's really nice. I'm really chuffed. Do you know, in Scotland, they have so many deer, you have to kill them so they don't eat all the grass. Really? I write for the Herald, and I'm sure my readers will be really excited to know what you're doing here in Scotland. Actually, I'm here for quite a wee while. Why don't I give you my mobile number? Who's Robert Lepage, huh? I'm sorry, uh, You don't know who Robert Lepage is? The major influence on every device theatre company in Britain, and you don't even know who he is? Actually, Fiona, you should see his work, you know, you'd love it. He did this brilliant piece called um, Tectonic Something at the National years ago, you know, it was amazing. Of course, you know, then they, uh, they can go and do Shakespeare and it's a complete disaster. Oh, Ben, I loved it. It was in mud. They did Midsummer Night's Dream in mud. Yeah, but the point is, Claude, you know, we could have had the mud without the Shakespeare. Who's Julia Roth, huh? I bet you don't even know who Julia Roth is. Oh, I know her. Do you? Yes, we're bringing her over from Paris next month to lead some workshops. <laughs> He does need can. He does need can. Have you lost ten? Can I take you somewhere? I. I know the Heimlich maneuver. Get off me, Jesus! How did you get Julia Roth? Well, it's the Edinburgh Festival, actually. They've commissioned a new show from her for next year's festival, and she's keen to come over to Scotland to start thinking about her new show. That is so Julia Roth. Julia Roth in Scotland. I could get her to come to Salkos. You don't get Julia Roth to do things, you ask her. God, I hate this woman. Careful, Jen. Fiona, is there any reason why we've been put right smack in the back of beyond for our rehearsals? Shall I see where our food is? Actually, guys, I'm going to have to love you and leave you. There's a party at the sits. Haven't seen Giles in ages. I'll give my love to Giles. Perhaps someone should get a bottle of mineral water for Jen. Right. I'll do that. Waiter, 